spring's arrival in Ennis, Texas, life is showcased in beautiful blue array with the blue bonnets of Texas. Spring's arrival in Ennis, Texas at the Texas Motorplex also brings to life the chaos. <laughs> like the numerous blue bonnets in Texas, the chaos competitors across Funny Car Chaos and Nitro Chaos are about to bring to life the largest chaos event to date in eight years of the Outlaw Drag Racing brand. Chris Graves, series promoter and owner. I imagine eight years ago, Chris Graves would not have thought he'd be having the biggest chaos event ever at the Texas Motorplex. But Chris, you as series owner and promoter, that is what is about to fire up. How did you get here? Well, you know, uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of really good support from a lot of great people. Um, the racers support is really what makes it happen. Um, apparently there was a need that we feel, found a way to fill. Uh, it was not intended to be uh, any of this, but it has grown to this with support from those racers and marketing partners like uh, Lone Star Forklift and, and Vertex Roofers that are helping us out with this event this weekend, as many others and, and everything else. So it, it's, it's about the support from the people that are out here. This is why I keep going. The storylines abound in Funny Car Chaos with turbocharged, procharged, supercharged, methanol burning, nitro burning combinations, nearly any funny car imaginable seems to be here at the Texas Motorplex for the Funny Car Chaos Classic. But the most heartfelt is the return of Ronnie Young in the Blue Max. As you can see, the Blue Max is back and Ronnie Young driving once again. After what we saw at State Capitol Raceway, we didn't know when you were going to be back, but it didn't take long. How did it feel to be back in the car, Ronnie? Well, it was a little different yesterday, I got to admit. You know, I mean, it took a pretty good whack down there. So after I got in, it was fine. But I had, I did have a little bit of reservations, I'll be honest with you. But it was fine after I got in and I think everything's good now. So. We'll see how the day goes, and we'll just take it in stride, to be honest with you, and honestly, I'm just glad to be here and just be a part of this this deal. I mean, it, it's such a neat deal to come to Ennis and this chaos, and I mean, especially this one, you know, the nitro chaos and funny car chaos. We made an effort to put this car together to come, so that's, that's why we're here. In Nitro Chaos, it's fuel alters, front engine dragsters, and funny cars all on the pop of Nitro Methane for the first time at the Funny Car Chaos Classic at the Texas Motorplex. Gary Wheeler is your first ever Nitro Chaos champion, but a recent announcement has put the Chaos world on notice of who is steering for the title in 2024, Mr. Joey Haas. <laughs> When the competition sees the orange nose of Nimrod and Joey Haas driving it, they are on notice because you all tend to show up and win, and you're going to run for this championship. Should the field recognize how tough you're going to be, Joey? We're going to try to be as tough as we can be. It takes a lot to run one of these big cars, um, and we do it with the support of a lot of people. So 
My dad's put a lot of parts before us. We've got a good crew. Some people have stepped up to make it possible, but to run one of these cars at the caliber we need to to win this championship against some really good guys, some consistent cars, we've got to have our consistency. So we've got what it takes. I feel like we've got what it takes. We've just got to execute our plan um, and go out there and race as smart as we can and put on a show for the fans. Joey Haas and team, they're gunning for a championship. I'm Lee Kraft pit reporter for Chaos Nation, and the chaos is about to fire up. All right, race fans, we are continuing with Money Car Qualifying. The man with the best barbecue sauce piloted the Red Baron, by the way, John Hill's a pilot himself, to a provisional number one qualifying spot in Funny Car Chaos. The Red Baron has needed to fly that high for a while now at this event, John. Man, it feels great. You know, the guys worked on the car all day Wednesday. We planned on testing Wednesday, and we, we found one problem, and then fixing it, we found other problems we didn't get to run at all on Wednesday. So we came out there uh, Thursday and we had a plan 330 and it, it felt smooth, good uh, incremental numbers. It was hard for me to lift. So we knew we had something that, that uh, run probably would have been a 378 or something close to that. So we knew going into yesterday's qualifying session that a full lap, you know, would, would be some good numbers. I was hoping just for a 50 to come back to where we left off. Uh, with another good run with this car, but that 49 came up on the board as I went past it and I, I was grinning ear to ear. The Nimrod Nitro Funny Car of Joey Haas. He is overlooking a rack of pistons. Joey, you made a statement in a press release. You're going to run for this Nitro Chaos Championship, and that was a statement blast last night to go number one and be provisional going into the last qualifying session. Well, we took number one on the first hit, and then we had the call out against Jody. Um, so we, we just used that run to try something. and. We run secondary levers on this car, but we normally don't run all of them. So we put the last secondary levers that we normally have off back on it. And the track was stellar and we knew it was against Jody and, and uh, we needed to get the points for another run and qualifying. So we tried something, Mike Kern and the guys and my dad and everybody just uh, figured we would try something, learn learn something. We had a good shot at a good track and good conditions. So it stuck and it, it picked up 10 mile an hour and another 10th. So, We'll keep that run in our pocket. We might take those levers back off and, and have that run if we need it. That was definitely a career best by a long shot. I don't know if I ever would have seen this car go over 250, but with Mike Kern and his knowledge, we done what needed to be done and, and made a good run. John Hale would go into eliminations in the Red Baron as the number one qualifier. More on John and how he fared round by round in just a moment. 
Over the offseason, Chaos officials decided to move away from a pro ladder to a sportsman ladder to foster better racing, and it did just that in round one, producing a matchup that we would often see in a final former champion of the series, Kirk Williams, up against Shane Lawson. Kirk Williams, you are used to big time matchups and going up against Shane Lawson in Funny Car Chaos. That is big time. Round one victory. Yeah, it was. It was just a blessing that things fell our way because we was having problems with the car. It was it, the motor was dying. And then, then it come back to life. When we found the problem with the crank trigger, it was bad. But thankfully, Shane's problems were worse than ours, so it led to a win on that round. As I like to affectionately call him, the Googer. Mike Googer out here assisting the Red Baron. Car was running well, but not going to be able to make round two. Well, we had some problem, mechanical issues. Um, I think it pulled the main set out. The car ran so good this weekend, it, it, it's a shame because I think we could have duplicated that time, maybe even ran better. And I think, you know, I don't think anybody had anything for us, to be honest. Definitely not. John Hale was flying high. is going to the final round at the biggest funny car race in the world. Bill, in an A field with such as John Hell laying a 340 range out there, did you think making a final was possible in your methanol burner? 
You know, the only thing that we thought this weekend was after being off for 18 months, we just wanted to come back out here, get, get back into our program, run the car the way we know how to, and if they were there to make a mistake, we'd be there. We didn't expect to get a buy, but uh, we'll take it how, yeah, any way we can get it. Doug Schneider has had an eventful Funny Car Chaos Classic. Yes, that is some wall paint from connecting with the wall all the way now to making a final round. Quite an interesting time here at the Texas Motorplex, Doug. Yeah, it was kind of ugly there, but we did a little thrash in between rounds, got her back together, a little, little duct tape, little rivets here and there, but we're ready to go. No matter who wins this one, Colorado wins. Yeah, that's for sure. I told Bill we shouldn't have to drive all this about 12 hours just to race each other, you know, but here we are. It's good. He's going to be mile high for sure. Bill Bernard is the winner in the A field here at the Funny Car Chaos Classic at the Texas Motorplex, the biggest funny car race in the world, the biggest chaos race ever to date. And Bill Bernard in the series that started all of the chaos brand, Funny Car Chaos, he is the champion tonight of the Marvin Rodax Coffee A Field. Bill's getting the gear off. Here he is. Bill, congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? I got to thank Mile High Crankshafts, DMP Awnings. This We took 18 months off. First, month, first race back out. I can't thank my crew enough. We just we just wanted to come out and make sure that uh, our junk was still okay. Well, Bill, the junk is just fine. Congratulations, man. Thank you.
Nick, was the Funny Car Chaos Classic on the bucket list? Did we actually do it tonight? This is just awesome. You are the winner. That is so cool. And uh, talk about a team double up with Chuck Lofton, uh, the team owner, winning in the C field. <laughs> we got the B field. Uh, what a tremendous night. Thank you all for all the support and thank you all for being here. He marks one off the bucket list at the Texas Motorplex. Thanks. <laughs> Often has a lot of motivation to get his program turned around and this race has certainly got to help winning 
in the Wolf Pump Seafield. Chuck, this weekend it all began in testing, and testing was not so good. But it has all turned around with you winning the biggest funny car race in the world, Chuck. Can you, can you believe this? I think, man. No, I can't believe it. I've been watching you. You know, you've been watching the struggles we've had. I mean, just seemed like everything was going wrong. Today is the perfect day. Thank you, Gary Meyer, John Miller, Myers, Elgin Sausage, stepping up, helping us out. Man, we started out not good, but it ended up good. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Lee. A good day in Texas for Chuck. Cook is getting out of the bad intentions funny car, not the normal nemesis hot rod. We got to get the word from her on why that is, but she in the D field just won the biggest funny car race in the world. Last year made the final, but did not win it. Wins it here in 2024 in the other hot rod with the family. Jade, biggest win, I would say, of your career. How? I have no idea. This has just been probably the most memorable racing weekend of my life. Um, obviously, I broke the yellow car, and uh, Chance just uh, gave me his car for the weekend. He knows how much I love it, and he knew that I would be devastated if I didn't get to race this weekend. It's my first time in a traditional blower car, and uh, it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun, and uh, I'm so excited to be here. Congratulations, Jade. Thank you. Joey Haas at the wheel of the Nimrod Nitro Funny Car did go into eliminations as the number one qualifier. But turning on wind lights for real, how would he fare against competition such as the War Wagon driven by Kevin Kinsley and a revived bone bucket of Mitch King? Nitro Chaos now with their eliminations.
Joey Hawks on the way to the semifinal. Joe had a starting line advantage that he was holding 400 to the start, but it wasn't enough as the phone bucket 9916 foot had yielded in by that point and then began to pull away. Three The old hot rod for Mitch King, the bone bucket back out. Round one win has got to feel good, but you got a tough customer in old Joey now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we hopped it up a little bit, and uh, we ran a little bit quicker in testing in Q1. Uh, so uh, we're going to see if our testing taught us anything. And last year did it in the A field, but in Funny Car Chaos competition, it's now Nitro Chaos Alter Trim. Kevin, can you do it over the car you just got finished with? <laughs> I hope so. I hate to get beat by my own piece of work, but that, you know, either way we win. You know, so uh, Mitch is a great competitor and a good buddy of mine for a long time, and just happy to see both cars in the finals. So. That'd be a good race, man. This thing's really trucking right now, man. It was uh, 232 and the eighth is doing pretty good for us. So it's fun and I'll be a good, good final. Walking up on the war wagon, Kevin Kinsley, the driver of it in alter trim this event, wins in the McKinney Motorsports A field. It was here last year that they won in the A field, but in funny car chaos competition. 
They've set records here. This place for the War Wagon team is a place that they love to come to and do so well so often and have done it once again. Kevin and Kinsey getting the gear off, overseeing the War Wagon. And last year, we had to talk to him on the tarmac. We're actually talking to him off the drag strip here in the shutdown area. A win again, this time at the biggest chaos race ever and in Nitro Chaos, the A field. What a great ride, man. That was fun. It was hauling ass, I can tell you that. It was pulling like a freight train, but uh, yeah, it was fun, man. I enjoyed it, and uh, Mitch is a great competitor and, and loved racing him, and uh, it was, it had a good time this weekend. You know, I got to drive the Pro Mod car and kind of getting that thing worked out and then get to drive this unbelievable hot rod right here with a great family. The Ferris's are just like my own family, so it's a pretty awesome deal. Kevin, how does this team make it where they are such a threat each and every time they show up no matter what the track is from a texas motorplex to an eddieville to a mocan how do they do it you know shane and howard have been doing this a long time and they've just got a lot of good data and uh we've got a great tuna man hot weather cold weather now they've got it figured out too so uh i'm just very blessed i get to do this with a with a great family man kevin kinsley wins in the a field again but this time nitro chaos yeah baby
They've competed in Nitro Chaos before. He made a final back in Edgewater, but did not win it. But he wins it at the biggest chaos race ever. Tyler, you're number one, carrying that number one from the Heritage Series on this top fueler. Yeah, right on, man. It's, it's all good. <laughs> we uh, did good, did good this weekend. We didn't run as quick as we wanted to, but we were consistent. And that was the main thing coming in here, trying to get our consistency back. So. Uh, it was a really great event, and we were super happy to win, and everything's great. From what I understand, we can expect to see you in Edgewater. Yeah, we're planning on it. We're going to have two cars down there, so that's the plan right now. We'll be there. Spectacular. Yep. Tyler Hilton, your winner in the B field of Nitro Chaos. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wonder how violent Tire Shake is, this is the beautiful machine that Chase Copeland has built. It injected fuel altered, and after violent tire shake, as you can see, they have some body work to do. The scrap bucket makes history in chaos. The first ever to win in the first ever Seafield in Nitro Chaos. It is Mr. Pennington in the scrap but bucket, getting it done here at the Texas Motorplex. It's the biggest chaos race ever. The first for a Seafield in Nitro Chaos. Always great to perform and earn a win as a first in any form of racing, especially in Chaos Nation. Sigh of relief, a victory here at the Texas Motorplex. 80 cars entered. You were one of those 80. Did you think by the end of this race, you'd be a winner in the first ever Nitro Chaos Seafield? No, never did. Never did. First time we've been in the car this weekend. I just bought this car in January. Uh, diagnosed with cancer in 
November of last year. So I've had quite a ride to get to here, but thank God and all my guys for helping me. Uh, Tom Conway tuned it. Keith, Travis, Jacob, all the guys that came with the car that had worked on it before. Just a great weekend. Congratulations. Thank you.